Welcome to Plants vs. Zombies Adventure Mode. And I am playing on the rooftop today. Looks like Crazy Dave has already chosen a couple different plants for me, so I'm just gonna see what else I can do here. Uh, it's already got that ladder, guys, so... If I go here on the almanac, we can see all the different guys I've already unlocked, which is everything. I've unlocked all the plants, and, um, so, basically, I'm just gonna choose some, uh, you know, good plants I would need. I'm definitely gonna need the, um, those kind, uh, what else? Some of the, no, wait. You wanna use catapult plants. Like that, kind of. Because the other kinds can't shoot over the curb of the roof. And, uh, like that. Alright. Yeah, I got all my slots unlocked, too, so that helps. Alright. I could have bought the rake, but whatever. I don't care. So, yeah, first, you should be able to get at least three sunflowers in before the first zombie comes on basically every level. So that's the main trick I can say. Should be able to get at least three. And then you get enough sun afterwards to build um just any plant that costs like a hundred dollars or less should be able to take out, you know, a zombie. Uh cabbage pulp's really good for the beginning. And then just you don't forget to keep planting your sun. You're gonna want two rows of sun. Whatever type of sun you're using, sun shrooms, double sunflowers, sunflowers, it's always good to have two rows. It's also nice when the first two zombies come from the first row, right here. Because then you don't have to spend all your money on more cabbage pulls. Oops. So yeah. If you have the rake, you'll be able to um, use all these rows up by the time the first zombie comes by. Because the rake will kill the first zombie that comes in from over here. So yeah, just keep planting sunflowers. Um, kernel pulls do not work that well by themselves. So I suggest planting them second in the row like that. That way they can use their little uh, butter power to stop the zombies. But, uh, but just the kernels by themselves are not really that powerful on them. So, plant cabbage pulse first. And um, if you have a little extra sun, you can just keep planting pots down. They're always nice to have. Oh yeah, see right there. So, to kill a cone head, you're gonna definitely want a cabbage pult and um, a kernel pult. That normally takes care of them. Like this. See the butter stops them. And the butter lands on their head. So now I have two full rows of sunflower, and that's basically a good amount. I'm. I'm gonna have plenty of sunflower now. Sometimes it's nice to have the imitator for your um, pots just to put them down. Don't forget to use your pumpkins too, those are really good plants. Alright, now I'm gonna try to save up a little money for melon pulps because they cost 300 sun. Just one more sun, I'll be able to build one. There we go. Stick them right there. They're very powerful. But they cost a lot, so it's, sometimes it's better to put them on the rows that are further back. I need more sun. There we go. Yeah, sometimes I just use my extra sun on just random plants. I mean, any plant is good. Sometimes even extra sunflowers are good. 
But I just keep remembering to plant them. Oh, and the butter. The ones that shoot butter are good against these guys because it stops them from shooting. Like that. Yeah, so. I'm gonna need more pots down here, too. That was a mistake. I meant to plant it on that row. Oh, I hate the bungee jumpers. But luckily, I have enough sunflowers. I can spare a few. Ah, uh, I, I, you know, I can have enough just to replace them right there. But I hate those guys so much. They just come up and steal your plants. It's like, what's up with that? That's not very nice. I'm gonna try to replace some of these with melon pulps. As soon as these guys get in. Or something like this. There we go. Alright, not doing too bad. This level does get kind of tricky. As long as you have your strategy going, you're good. Wow, I still got three flags to last. Alright, this is the second flag, apparently. I need to get more melon pulps out on this battlefield. Sure, brought double sunflowers. Almost have enough. Great. What a jerk. Alright. Oh man, the I should have also brought some magnet pulse or magnet shrooms out here. Sorry, there's a magnet pulse. Sometimes it's nice to have two walnuts in the row also. You can use this to, to get rid of that ladder. If you just put a jalapeno like that, it'll blow up a ladder too. Uh, I'm just gonna put more more kernel pulls down. I'm starting to like them a lot more than I used to. They're cheap. They do their job well. And they have the power to stop them completely. Your enemies. So I almost have fully set battlefield out here. Two more flags left to go. Oh man. This is crazy. Not bad though for a. Oh, is he gonna take that guy? No fair. No fair. I hate that how they steal them. Oh man, I'm getting through over here. This is not good. I need to get some melon pulls really badly. Melon pulls to go. Almost defeated this level though. It takes courage to go against these zombies. It really does.
What a jerk. Can't believe how he would do that. Steal a guy. Steal man out of his own pot. Getting through. It's not looking good for me. I gotta put down a jalapeno somewhere. Blam. How you like that one? Oh man. Final wave, finally. I bet I'll make it. I'll make it. Come on. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Come on. I don't want to lose those dumb things. Idiots. Oh, they stand no chance against me. There. He even saved my uh, roof cleaners. Let's see what I can do about this guy. Blam. So that's my full level. I know it was a long video, but thanks for watching.